Once again, it's time for the Olympic Games and time to test man against man. Now, this year, the small European country of Parma has entered an Olympic team for the very first time. And now the country is small, but they hope to bring victory to Parma. And we'd like now to meet the man who has that big responsibility, the coach of the new team from Parma, Coach Dag Herford. Fine. Coach, I thought we would just chat a little bit about the new team. Yeah, real fine on that. No, <laughs> if I were to describe an Olympic coach, I would say that he's dynamic, he's forceful, and above all, he's a good sport. Yeah. Well, what am I going to say then? <laughs> well, I was just making a general statement. You know, oh. I, I'm sure you'll be able to add to that. Yeah. What would I be able to add to that? <laughs> I'll think of something, yeah. you know. It's a... Well, I don't know. You're taking all the good stuff. <laughs> Well, I did not come here to argue with you. Uh-huh, you just... can't accept the agony of defeat. Ha-ha. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know something? That'll make you give all your medals back. Well, I don't have any medals. You don't? You know no. why? Because you're a poor sport. That's why. <laughs> you don't find that on our team. I bet you don't even have water on the knee. <laughs> I just wanted to find out a little bit about your new team. Now, could, oh, we, do, yeah. could we do that? Sure, huh? I bet you blab it all over town, too. <laughs> right. Now, I understand that so far, the new Parma team has ended up last in every event that they've entered. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a rumor. Oh, no, no, that's not a rumor. It's right here in the official scorebook of the Parma. Right here, Parma, last in every event, right there. <clears throat> then it's not a rumor. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was hoping that'd be a rumor. That'd get up, be off the hook, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Could I have that? Oh, sure. Yeah, Would you like good. that? <laughs> Could we find out a little bit about the team itself? Now, I understand that you were plagued by accidents this year. Is that well, true? Well, now, that's true. I think that's why we lost most of our stuff, you yeah. see. Now, we were expecting a gold medal from a high jumper, Marty Hawthorne. Oh. But he blew up, see? Oh, he couldn't stand the pressure of competing in the Olympics, huh? No, no, he blew up. Oh. Yeah, see, he is carrying the Olympic torch into the stadium and <laughs> took a shortcut through a gas station and... Boom! <laughs> It was a record jump for Marty, though. Good. <laughs> mile and a half at Jet Spot. Right up. I heard that your broad jumper had been hurt, too. Is that yeah, true? yeah. Now, he was walking across the infield, and he got hit right in the mouth with a discus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Say, if you aren't doing anything, you ought to stop down at breakfast and see him. Yeah. He can put eight pancakes in his mouth without folding them. Do you have any outstanding performers on the team at all? Well, we got one in the girls' events. Oh, uh, good. Blika, we brought her over. Mm-hmm. We're expecting a good performance from her. On that. Good. What is she? Uh, she's a belly dancer. <laughs> that's, that's not an Olympic event. <clears throat> cool it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, what did you do for uniforms? Well, we could only afford one uniform. Yeah. See, which also made it kind of rough. But it worked out pretty good. See, uh-huh. a guy would do his event yeah. and then take off the uniform and give it to the next guy. Uh-huh. Yeah. It did slow us down in the mile relay, though. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> Well, you take your trying to get that off and pass the baton, yeah, that's, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, our time was 28 minutes. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> well, were you at a disadvantage now, not being able to afford to train in Mexico? Well, probably, basically, but what we mm. tried to do is simulate the conditions that we would be racing in in Mexico. Oh, did so, you train at high altitude? Probably. No, no, no. no? Uh, the guys just played guitars and drank bad water. <laughs> Mexico. Oh, we're ready for it. Yeah. Just, just as a, a human interest point, perhaps uh, have any romances developed among Well, the... now they usually do. You know, yeah, uh, athletes sure. getting together uh-huh. and everything like that. As a matter of fact, uh, one of our girls did marry a Russian weightlifter. Oh, you know, very nice. Kind of a big day for yeah. her. Yeah. She got married right on the field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was such a big event, we let her wear the uniform. See? Oh, yeah. very nice. Some of the guys even showered. Oh, <laughs> big event. Where did they go on their honeymoon? Well, they didn't have much money, so they just went over to the hurdles. <laughs> Pretty this time of year. Yeah. I understand that your team didn't do too well in the winter games either. Now, could you tell No, me? no, we didn't do too well at Grenoble, but uh, we saw our mistakes there. Oh. See, we took film of the guys over there. As a matter of fact, Very I good. got some here if you'd like to. Oh, yeah. I'll show you. I'd like that. Yeah. Uh, they're all in slow motion. Top of the 90 meter ski jump, right? Show it up real good on there. Now, here's our final film. This is of our uh, 
figure skater here. Yeah. Now, he was winning this event until oh. the final spin. He had a final spin to go, and he lost it here. Too bad. The final spin on this thing. Again, I'll tell you. No, sir. Well, I, I can see your problem, but I have confidence that we will see the colors of Parma flying in the victory circle in the Olympics. I feel certain of it. Uh, Incidentally, uh, what are your country's colors? Uh, off cream. <laughs> Pretty this time of year. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll be looking for them. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> 